I'm super excited to do today's app review, which is the most underrated app in iOS and Mac community, as well as amongst the note-taking industry. Mac users do not have to go far for this app, and this is called Apple Notes. Apple Notes, which is built on Mac operating system in iOS, is simple to use, has excellent features, and is natively connected with iOS voice assistant called Siri. Apple Notes had a huge release a few months back considering the competition from other note-taking apps like Evernote, OneNote, Google Keep, and many, many more. Apple Notes is free for 5 GB of iOS storage all across the devices. And you can also get into a payment plan of 99 cents a month for a 50 GB plan. So let's get going. And without any further delay, let's have a look at some of the great features of Apple Notes. There are many ways we could capture our notes. Open Notes app on Mac or your iOS device and create a note by using the Create a Note icon on, right on the top. Simply start writing your note, meeting minutes, or a blog, or anything you want. You can capture web pages from your Safari browser using the Web Clipper. Great feature, like in any other applications also. If you want to capture, for instance, any news item, I can go to my share button and clip these to my notes. This works seamlessly and really quick. One comparison with Evernote is that this saves the link only and not the full text capture as it happens in Evernote or any other note-taking application. You can also use Share Sheet on iOS devices or from your Safari browser and clip your web pages. Another quick way to capture notes is using Apple Notes as a widget on your iOS device to create a note, to-do list, or take a picture or do a drawing or handwriting. Use Siri on your phone to quickly capture your notes. First, you activate Siri and say something like, I'm creating a note using Apple Notes and I'm trying to activate Siri and just trying to make sure that whatever I speak gets captured in my Apple Notes, period. This is the easiest way of capturing notes with your iOS device and it happens seamlessly. So before we move any further, here is a extremely useful trick, which I would like to share it with you. Double click the note and you have a single note opened. This works great if you wish to make distraction free notes. Also, you can go to window on the top and hit float on top and the note will always be on the top of your other applications really useful if you're doing some research work and trying to make notes out of it. How to create folders and subfolders. Unlike Evernote, you can create folders and subfolders in your Apple Notes app. For instance, like this, you can create a folder, let's say, called recipes. And then within recipes, you want to create different subjects or different topics of recipes like banana bread or pasta, or simply create one folder for recipes and search for different recipes like pasta, banana bread, and so on. How to use the note editor. While making notes, we can use the editor and use various different features like checklists or bullets and so on. We can use different font sizes and other useful editor features. Apple Notes have put a lot of thought for folks writing articles and blogs over here. Let me mention one thing, that there is no markdown feature available like it happens in Beer App. Next one is how to use the search features. 
Search in Apple Notes is pretty decent, but not as great as Evernote, but you can definitely live with this. We can search any text or even go to the search bar here on the top and perform search from various built-in options. It's a very useful feature to have this. The only downside is that within Apple Notes, it will not search within your PDFs and images like it happens in Evernote. Some useful and interesting features. You can view notes as list, gallery, and only attachments also. Sharing notes is easy and quick. Use the share feature and you can email or even send the note as a message. Very useful if you're sharing your groceries list or list of movies to be seen. You can pin notes and keep them at the top of your list. It works really seamlessly and very easily on Mac as well as in your iOS device. In iOS device, you can just slide left and pin it. Whereas in Mac, you just right click on the note and then pin the note and it remains always on the top unless until you unpin it. And here is a huge enhancement from Apple folks, wherein you can password protect your notes. You can customize the settings here and options are to password protect it via face recognition or using your own password. You can even reset your password if you forget your password at some point of time. I hope you liked this video and do try this app if you are within the Apple ecosystem. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and also visit my website, mynextgendigital.com. I'll leave the link below in the description section also. Before I sign off, I have a quick question for you folks. What note-taking or task management app are you using on a day-to-day -day basis? Please feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section and I will surely get back to you on it. I will see you next week again. Until then, have a safe week and take care.